Hi guys, welcome to Generation Life Talk. I am Tegan and this is my first mukbang. I have cucumber, I have rice, and I have sausage. We're gonna get a prayer and we're gonna get to eating. Amen. Oh, not to mention, I have my H2O. I'm, how's everybody doing today? I'm very thankful that today is Saturday and I get to relax. Um, I'm going to put some soy sauce. Just a tad bit of soy sauce on my rice. And I can't forget the sesame seed oil. I love to put different type of sauces on my rice. And for the heat, but of course, sriracha. And then I love to season my cucumbers with a little bit of garlic powder. So how's everyone enjoying this wonderful Saturday? Me, I am doing absolutely wonderful. Um, I decided to whip this up and have a meal with you guys. We're going to start off. Now, I burnt some, a little bit of my sausage, but that's all right. I like it burnt. Okay. We're going to get some rice. It's pretty good. You get you a bite of sausage. What did y'all do today on this lovely Saturday? So this towards me more. Me, I decided to catch up on a few things, a few projects that I have and spend time with my son before he took a nap. He's taking a nap now. Very thankful for that. <laughs> Sprinkle a little garlic salt on my English cucumber. How was your how was your week? How was your work week? Mine mine was kind of it was kind of hectic. I work with children. And I help them with their work, whatever they need. I'll be an assistant to them. And let me tell you, they gave me the blues. I love them to death, but they gave me the blues this past week. But very thankful that I get a chance to work with kids. 
Very thankful. That's what I love to do. And I get to come home and spend time with my son. So it's like a win-win for me. Yep. One thing I want to talk about. Is that kids are not like they used to back then versus now, as we all know. Not like what we were when we were growing up. I remember when I was growing up. That's what we strive for, was having good grades. Having good grades and not saying I was the best kid because I wasn't. Nobody was. We had our good days and we had our bad days. But we strive to do our best in school. Nowadays, kids are worried about things that are not important. Like TikTok and posting videos on TikTok and stuff like that. Whatever happened to kids, I know there are some kids still out there that do this, have a love for books. And one thing I don't see I do see it but it's not heavily there is the fact that there's less parent involvement in their child's ed education. Whatever happened to parent and teachers coming together as a united front for the student, so for the students to be successful. And don't get me wrong, there's some parents that are out there that are knocking it out the bar park. They're doing a great job of raising their kids and taking responsibility for the child's education. But there's also other parents that are, and you know what, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to judge nobody. I'm not judging nobody. But whatever happened to like community, communities coming together for the kids? I was telling my students the other day that back in the day when I got in trouble as a kid, I just didn't get it from my mama. I just didn't get in trouble from my mama. I got it from everybody in the family and the community. Whatever happened to that?
And nowadays you have older individuals that yeah, will demand respect but not give respect to younger generations. Whatever happened to the younger generations taking wisdom from the older generation? Nowadays, you got the older generation want to be more like the younger generation. And they demand respect, but they don't give it. They don't give respect in order to receive it. What's up with that? Whatever happened to building relationships with people? I'm serious. Whatever happened to building relationships with people? Getting to know them. Just genuinely building relationships with people. I mean, that's how I connect with my students. I build relationships. Not saying I'm the best teacher because I'm not the best teacher. I have my days. Trust. I have my days. But for the most part, I enjoy helping my students, being a part of the process of their education, and being a part of my son's education as well, too as a mother, as a parent. You gotta build relationships in order to get to know people. I say all this to say, build relationships with people. Get to know your kids. And I know there are days where they don't tell you everything. I get that. But I build relationships with them. I know we can get consumed by work in different things. But yeah. They are our future. Who's going to take care of us when we get older? I'm just saying. And some of these behaviors that, that I see are learned behaviors. This is good. This is so good. I'm happy I made this. It's really good. Let me know in the comments what you think. 
about this conversation about building relationships with people, not just children, but adults as well. Well, you never know. Who knows what, who went through what. I'm not trying to get in everybody's business because my motto is always stand in your lane and mind your business. Especially at work. But to get to know people. So, it's a good dish. I haven't had sausage and rice and cucumber in a long time. And I'm glad I had it. So, guys, thank you for watching this video. Please forgive me for being all over the place with the conversation. This is my first mukbang. Just sharing with you in a glimpse how my week went. Um, I'm very thankful that I'm here. I'm very thankful I get to spend time with my family on this beautiful off day. And I'm very thankful that the things that I have and the things that I don't have. I'm very thankful. Because the things that I don't have, I didn't need it to begin with. So, that concludes this mukbang. Bye.